Good afternoon, this is Melissa with the StockSwish.com and welcome. Welcome to Red Hat RHT. Beautiful, wonderful Golden Gap this morning. I uh, love this thing, really worked out nicely. And you could have done a multitude of things today. See why it really was the huge play today, although Red Hat worked amazingly well. Uh, and you know, you could have, could do everything. When things rate over 20 points, if you want to trade every single gap that rates over 20 points and sets up, you can do it. You know, the interesting thing is I, I talk to people constantly about learning my strategy and learning how to rate gaps. And they love to watch my videos and things that I do. But you can't make money watching my videos or watching me trade. The only way to make money trading is trading. You have to trade live. And the only way you can trade live is if you know what to do. Because if you don't know what to do, you're going to lose money. And if you know what to do, you can make money. So the interesting thing is if you want to learn how to trade, I'm doing a class where I teach people. And if you want to make money, you know, you can learn how to do this. And I think that people that want to make money will, you know, learn how to do this. And if you really don't want to make money, then you won't learn how to do it. And <laughs> you won't ever make any money in the market. So the funny thing is that the market is there and is a place for people who are willing to take risks to profit. However, there is something called calculated risk. When you know what to do, that is calculated risk. And that is why you have to have the right knowledge to do it. As it turns out, this did not work out exactly as I wanted it to. However, it worked still and all. And the interesting thing is when I saw where it bounced this morning, I said it was over. I said it was over down here at 46.21. It was actually the low of this bar here at 46.20. Now, how did I really want this to work today? I wanted it to go all the way down here to 45, which it's headed. It's going to get there. This is this is lower again tomorrow. I thought this was actually going to totally flip up here in the day because of the bounce back up it had. Either way, this isn't gone back down here to the low of the day before the end of today. Uh, I, I like this lower for tomorrow. Tomorrow, tomorrow, tomorrow. It's exhausted, and this is, it looks like it's flatlining here now, actually. So I thought this might flip around up all the way back up to the eye of the day here because of the drop down it had this morning, the three days down, the big gap down, the fall down hard this morning. I thought it might flip into the afternoon and then work red tomorrow. As it turns out, it's flatlining. This is really still very weak. So I, I'll, this should fall through tomorrow, actually. Back down and break then 46, which it needs to do. I don't know if it's going to get to 45 tomorrow because this is maybe tired here now. This may have one day of rest in it, actually, before it breaks again. But in the next two days, something else is going to happen in this. I can tell you that. Beautiful, 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 beautiful entry in this this morning aggressively. And how did I want this to set up on the open? What did I want it to do? I wanted to show an immediate weakness, and that is exactly what it did. Again, it didn't open up exactly the way I wanted it to. However, it did do what I said it needed to do to be perfect, and it did. And set the high of the day at 930. What does that mean? Crazy, crazy weakness in the stock. Went over this in the room because there was only two very specific entries in this this morning, real entries. Anything else was a cheat. And if you do a cheat in this to grab onto it after you have confirmation it's going, which it really is too late because the confirmation is the gap. The gap rating, the gap, you take the aggressive trade and half size it if you want to wait and see what it does. But this did have an ad and it had two entries. Anything else was a cheat. No, if you take a cheat. First of all, you have to know what a real entry is. But if you take a cheat and it's not a real entry and you put the stop tight and it fails, you need to redo it so you can get this move. This is a beautiful move. This is a beautiful move in here, more than a dollar, dollar thirty. And from the original entry that I called up here, it was actually way more as dollar fifty. So really nice, really nice. Everything worked today. And you can't make money unless you trade. So you've got to learn what to do to trade. And there's no way around it. I think that people are serious, serious about doing this, that actually want to be successful in the market, uh, will learn how to do this from me. And I'm teaching people how to do it well. I'm seeing these things so well. I'm just really being actually really picky about things lately, too, which is helping improve my overall uh, outlook and view of things. I think to progress within my own trading to start risking more, actually. So I'm building myself up to that. But in the meantime here, things have been going extremely well. This performed nicely today, and, and it's holding the weakness, and this is lower tomorrow. I don't think this goes anywhere into the close. It's not going higher. It's not going lower. It's flatlining here. It's exhausted. Beautiful gap in Red Hat today. I actually said this in the webinar last night that it would work. I hadn't rated it at that time, so I didn't know the rating, but I can tell because I've been doing this now for five years. So once you get good, you'll see these things and spot them. But I still go through the process myself. I still rate my things every single night or morning whenever I have time. But I do it way before I trade. And I have all the numbers written down. One of this to go to 46.20. 
45 today. Knew where I saw it opening that it wasn't going to do it. But it did have a nice big move. Beautiful, beautiful red hat. And this is lower, if not tomorrow, the following day. So be on the lookout for this. If you'd like to learn how to trade gaps, you can reach out to me. I'm doing a gap class this weekend, September 28th and 29th. Email me at melissa at the stockswoosh.com. And again, you can't make money not trading. You have to train to make money. And in order to make money trading, you have to know what to do. It's the only way because you'll never get conviction that the market can pay you until you do it yourself. And how do you do that? You get the right information. You see, see what I'm talking about when I teach it in the class and know that it's real and they start doing it. It's amazing. Lots of people say they want to make money in the market, but they really don't. Because if they really were serious, they would commit themselves to learning the right information and just do it. And uh, so, you know, I've made a level of commitment to this and it has really paid off for me uh, over the last few years. It's just an, an amazing level of confidence and conviction I have in what I do now and very excited about it. So here's Red Hat. And if you'd like more information, you can email me at melissa at the stockswish.com. Classes this weekend. If you'd like to sign up, email me. Have a great day, everybody.